yes guys uh, i'm started recordings okay mm. today we are going to learn about minor groups of organisms so we already covered the major things right we covered the things like what are bacteria and what are the types are there and what are fungi what are the types are there and all the protists but another one important thing is there are certain organism that's not included in the five uh, five kingdom classification okay so why we not include it what is the reason behind it we will going to learn all about this okay so first question of the day what is silica silica is a what you can say compound okay uh, so if you go for the periodic table you can find that one uh, the shells which are made made up of silica is called siliceous cells or silica cells okay so what is for today today we are going to learn about virus viroids bacteriophages and prions and if you guys need it then we can also check about the lichens and also about the what yep mycorrhiza okay if you need then only otherwise not okay so we will learn about that thing also yes yeah right so shall we go next before we start the class there's some three reading exercises there we will see that okay the first question is uh, the most broad level of classification is the most broad level of classification is kingdom phylum class and order okay so i'm launching the poll now i'm launching the poll now okay so you can answer in the poll only how many one not four people are there we'll see how quick you guys can answer okay how quick you can answer and yes you guys are answering correctly yes correct i forgot to start this one sorry sorry for that after so many days we are also get confused right so what to do what not to do and what time what to do all those things yeah the most discussed thing right so what are the priorities all those things are there uh yeah still some time uh, time is there still only 73% people are voted we need we need some more votings yes last 20 seconds guys last 15 seconds we will we'll have some time for this because uh, several of us uh, for the class okay they don't know how to answer and how to the, do this all these things okay yes i am closing the poll now and i'm sharing the result okay yes 88% chosen option a and 4% b and 2% c and 5% d okay what they are asking we will see that okay they are asking about most broad level of classification most broad level means you have to remember about that pyramid right so basic level will be species and when i talk about the broad level think about what think about domain okay but what happened here there is no domain is here right what is after the domain after the domain will be kingdom so you can directly go for the answer kingdom because it is the most broad level of classification and most of you guys are correct also so the correct option is option a okay second question came uh, second question is also easy okay a parasite which becomes saprophytic in the absence of host they are asking a parasite is there but what's happening with that parasite when there is no host it's converting itself into a saprophyte okay then what you call that particular parasite okay is it obligatory parasite is it obligatory saprophyte is it facultative parasite is it facultative saprophyte i started the timer and i also 
launch at the pole okay you can think and you can answer no issue okay there is uh, no hurry as you guys say okay uh, okay there is no hurry you can think and you just think about the obligatory and facultative aerobes and anaerobes we discussed right we took a example several examples and we explained about what are obligatory or what are facultative right same condition apply ha gautam yes good afternoon danjan okay yes last how many seconds last 15 seconds yes is is just a mixed kind of answer but we will we will accept it we'll see what happens yep i'm ending the poll now and ha huh, i'm sharing the results uh 14% choose an option a 19% b 51% c and 17% d okay we will see what is the correct answer okay they are asking about a parasite a parasite means what it's always or in regularly it's a parasite right and becomes a saprophyte that means temporarily remember so what they are mentioning in the first phase that means it's a regular parasite okay so you, you can say that you guys are very good okay but sometimes uh, you become bad right that means you are always good but sometimes you are converting into a bad kind of person right so same condition in the absence of host when there is no host parasite can't be there without host then it's converting so what you are calling it is we have obligatory and facultative what is the meaning of obligate can you guys answer ha huh, correct we'll see we'll see what is the meaning of obligate yeah any ha correct right a strict or must so obligate means it should be a strict right what is the meaning of strict parasite then it will be a parasite if there is no host it will die okay it should be in a host to survive so you can think this is not the answer right so yeah there is no other way it should be obligatory okay uh, it is saying obligatory saprophyte that means what it should be a saprophyte it never become parasite or never become something else it's always a saprophyte okay like always a bad person i like that okay so this is also not answer because conversion is happening here okay then we'll start with two things facultative parasite and facultative saprophyte right what is the meaning of facultative facultative means a changes can happen right a changes or no it's a temporary right it's a temporary kind of thing uh, it's a facultative parasite or facultative saprophyte there you have to think about that correct okay what is facultative parasite facultative parasite is a parasite but it will convert into some other thing when there is no host okay is the regular parasite but when there is no host when there is no host then what happens this will convert into some other kind it may become a saprophyte or it, it may go for some holozoic nutrition okay it will go for some other other things other than the parasitic nature okay what is facultative saprophyte it's regularly a saprophyte okay like a mushroom i think about a mushroom or something think about a fungi but sometimes so what happens there is no dead end decay material to go okay so saprophyte means it should grow on the dead end decay material right but it do not have any dead end decay material then what it will do it will act as a parasite when there is no substance available okay so that means facultative so here you can choose easily right the correct answer is here parasite to saprophyte is changing so that is found in the facultative parasite that means option c will be correct okay correct guys yep yep uh laisham all those things yep correct okay so we are going for the first thing virus and viroids we will discuss about viroids later okay virus is there it's complete it's like a highly related to the virus okay so we will go for the virus can you guys recognize this particular virus can you guys recognize this particular virus yeah one one answer correct yeah correct 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 
Yes. So many, so many guys answered, right? Because you are seeing, do you really think uh, that virus in that particular color? What do you guys think? Is that virus in that color only or it will be different? Is it in uh, green or pink or something else? Ah, correct. So many guys are answering. Yeah, right. So yeah, it is not that color. Okay, but what happened is like someone who created, uh, because it's danger, all those things, he created like reddish something color. Now, whenever you watch the TV, you will see this particular reddish color of ball like structure only, right? Don't think that virus are having that much of color only because for virus, we need a very uh, strong kind of the microscopy. So which kind of microscope do you think we can use to see the virus? Can you use the regular microscope or do we have to use any special kind of microscope? What kind of microscope do you think? Compound microscope? No, Varsha, you can't see. Light wave, okay. Correct, right? You have to see through the electron microscope. And if you guys remember, in the electron microscope, you don't get any color. You remember, right? We discussed it uh, in the first class probably, right? So we have to see this much tiny objects or tiny things in the electron microscope. But in electron microscope, you will only get a particular picture without any color. Yes, it's a black and white, okay? So then we will add colors on our imagination or sometimes depending upon the, the factors or the chemicals present in there, okay? Yeah, we can get a clear structure, that's correct. Yeah, correct, correct, right. So first uh, question arises, virus is living or non-living? What do you guys think? No, it's a negative. Oh, no, no, not negative. Power. Yeah. Oh, uh, you're saying both, some are saying living. What do you guys think? Is it living or is it non-living? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's a common question, right? Because uh, this Whitaker not included in the five kingdom of uh, five uh, kingdom system of classification, and even six kingdom or three domain also nobody included the virus, right? So then we'll get the question. Yeah, correct. So these are both. Okay, these are act like living being also, and these are act like non living beings also. When that will happen? These will act as living where, when it is present in the host, correct, right? When it is present in the host, what is the meaning of host? You know, you guys know about the host, right? Present in host. You guys normally use, what you guys use, like, he's the host of the party, okay? Party is hosted by this person. That means he's the person who is giving all the money for you, what you are eating, right? So exactly same kind here. Host is the one where actually other, yeah, admin, admin is host, uh, like that. Huh. I, I am the host here, right? I am the launching this meeting and you are the beneficiary organisms. You guys are parasites. Do you really think like that? Uh, yeah, yeah, right. So I am the host now. That means I am organizing this and you guys are joining, right? Exactly same kind. There are certain organisms are there. Okay. Uh, example a human or a plant okay and there are some other organisms are there that are dependent upon that particular organism okay the dependent organisms are called parasites and the dependable organisms or the organisms which will give something to that parasite is called host okay <laughs> Venkat, are you virus i i don't know that you are a virus okay <laughs> yeah so wh where it is present when it is present in a host body there it act like a living thing, okay? When it will be non-living then? When it will non-living? When it outside the host body, okay? Outside the host body, that means when it is outside, uh, uh, just think about the corona only, okay? So that's the best example because that's the only virus you heard it more than ever, okay? Yeah, you heard it AIDS, uh, papilloma virus, all those things I know, but you heard coronavirus name probably more than a lack time or crawl time. Some people who are watching the news always, right? Yeah, when it is present outside of our body, that means when corona is present in our lung system, this particular system, respiratory tract, then it is living, okay? But when you sneeze out, what happens? The virus will uh, comes out of your body 
along with that particular droplets so it's like a kind of living system only okay then what happens it will rest on some surfaces right then there is no organism then there is no particular temperature or food to get okay then it will convert into a non living thing or act like a non living thing without any responsiveness to the external environment we learned about in the first chapter right so a important thing about living organism is consciousness or responsing right if i uh, uh, call someone okay if i call about ranjana or if i call a uh, call someone uh, who venkat then those people will respond right but some people won't respond or objects won't respond if i talk to a mobile or if i talk to a some uh, this window or something it won't respond because it's non living exactly same kind when the virus are present inside the body it will respond to everything okay yeah but uh, when it is present outside of the body outside of the host those are non responding yes pawan you are saying is a mega cosmopolitan yeah so why we use that particular word is yes virus are present everywhere maybe in the living state or may not be okay that, that is secondary completely secondary it may be present in living state or may it may not but it will be present in most of the sites okay but uh, these are not like bacteria there, there's a one uh, what you can say a thing a good thing okay uh, most of the viruses are like uh, human viruses are causing any disease uh, none of the viruses are symbiotic with us but bacteria we can find the symbiotic or which are helpful bacteria are there but helpful viruses are not there okay so ha huh, we will use of the, all those things google response no i am not taking that okay so we will go for a history then we will go for the general characteristic how we described it or how we got to know about it okay the first person who explain about this is dimitri ivans koy okay so uh, don't think that virus name come from him virus name is first used by the posture okay posture used that name but he never explained it he simply used virus name with respect to the venom certain that kind of things okay he simply used that uh, but that is not related to the, this particular virus so we never mentioned pasture name in the virus okay remember in some books it's given like that that's why i just want to mention ha uh, charan i will mention okay uh, first dimitri vanski you see some of the tobacco leaves are actually turning into a mosaic kind of nature okay what is mosaic kind of nature so you can see here this regular leaf will be having similar kind of the coloration okay but what happened then this will turned into a certain patches okay patches probably you saw a mosaic kind of the drawing right mosaic kind of the drawing or painting or collaborations in the art class probably some of you right ha huh, that is secondary right so he observed this particular uh, kind of turning in the leaves okay then he think what is this it should be caused by some of the things because all the nutrition we gave all the fertilizers we gave all the water we gave but still it's turning like this so it should be something else okay he checked about under the leaf about the leaf and all the structures he didn't find any fungi we know if fungi is present it will produce spores right it will be in the case of smut rust or anything but there is nothing like that then he thought about bacteria okay but you also know other thing when bacteria causes a disease it causes the necrosis right yes necrosis means uh, uh, what happens in necrosis necrosis will be the things will start to decay right even though it is attached to that particular plant only so that is not so he, he, he didn't find any that kind of things also in the leaf then he went for some other things so then he thought that some other structures these are also pathogenic which are present in that particular plant which is causing that particular disease okay he called that disease as tobacco mosaic disease okay tobacco mosaic disease so that means these are causing that leaf to form a mosaic kind of structure okay uh, uh, 
what you can say a bit bit joined like kind of the structure okay tobacco mosaic this is he called then he thought that okay this may be caused by a some kind of a fluid okay a kind of the fluid so because what's happening he extracted that and but extracted a uh, mixture is passing through the bacterial filter bacterial filter is like uh, your strain will be there right exactly same kind what happens in the strain if you have like two different kinds of the object uh, one will be like this much big the other will be this much small when you keep these things on this this larger object will be stuck here but the smaller object will be fall down right exactly same kind but there are some bacterial strains are there so those bacterial stain uh, what it will do when you pass the fluid or the particular liquid on that bacteria will stick to here okay bacteria will stick to here only pure liquid will come below okay so he used that but still this particular liquid had the ability to cause the disease then we thought that these are actually uh, less than or you can say that uh, a smaller than the bacteria so he told that these are actually a venomous fluid okay a venomous fluid he thought he never thought that it's a kind of the a complete different all those things he thought that a fluid is containing character of causing the disease okay <coughs> and then second person came was m w bezernik okay what he called he called that these particular things yes these particular things will cause the mosaic means what shalini asking okay mosaic means uh, joining the things i will come to here before i will explain mosaic means if i if i want to make a circle instead of drawing the circle if i add two different kinds of the tiles or three different kinds of the tiles and if i add a different different structure tiles and make a circle this is called a mosaic kind of the nature okay mosaic so that means grouped of the small small things are grouped and form a structure okay you probably see mosaic drawing and mosaic tiles right so this is mosaic here also what's happening leaf is forming different different patches or different kinds of the patches but without showing any other symptoms so that's called mosaic leaves okay so ha huh, this is related to that then mz benzani called these are passing through the strainer and these are causing the disease and he call it as the contagium vivum fluidum okay that means contagious that means infectious vivum okay fluidum a living viva we already know right in vivo and in vitro i think you guys remember about in vivo and in vitro right in vivo means what can you guys tell me what is the meaning of in vivo yes in vivo anyway anyway correct right in say uh uh really yeah correct correct right inside the living being right inside the body in vivo in vitro means outside the body remember this don't forget this okay in vivo means what inside the living being or inside the body okay in okay in and vivo means living okay living being same here vivum that means living okay fluidum that means it's a fluid infectious living fluid it is he called okay but he also no don't know that much about this thing okay later that person came is m w stanley okay uh, don't think that uh, these two thing uh, these two people are related or father and son don't think like that okay these two people are different what he did is he extracted those things extracted that virus and he ha- he try to make it in dry nature then when it, when there is a dry nature is there these virus particles become crystalline okay these have become crystalline you know that right normally non living being things uh, form crystalline or amorphous nature when there is no uh, what you can say when there is no water is there right but this living thing we think the thought that it's a living thing it's also converting into a, a crystalline nature so it's a actually a good ex- example okay crystalline nature 
then he thought that okay these are actually completely different from the bacteria and these are turning a crystalline things that means these are more related to the non living things also as much as they are related to the living things also then they got a confusion okay so where we have to put it this is act like a living things and this also acting like a non living thing okay so then they will get the confusion but still they got start to study about the more and more we will see what they studied and what they uh, learned about the thing okay before that we will go for one question okay simple question and you know that who named viruses as contagium vivum fluidum okay simple question the options are ivanskai benzernik martin and darwin i'm launching the poll now yes i'm launching the poll now you can answer in the poll yes is this question right still still someone somebody is uh, mixing this yes correct yes so many guys are giving correct answers correct laishram atira ranjana yes how many how many seconds left still last 20 seconds madhushri once ma sorry madhusudana think once again nirmala think once again correct kirish yes i am ending the poll now what is happening here only 72 persons are voting okay yes i am sh- sharing the results 13% choose an option a 78% choose an option b 7% c and 3% option d i am stop sharing the result now okay so we will see what happened here we it's a direct kind of the question right it's a direct kind of question only we have to do is we have we can go back we can see mw benjamin gave the option sorry gave the on uh, this particular statement contagium moivum fluidum you can directly go for the answer b okay these are direct questions remember these are already asked in the neat ex- examination and in the future also they may ask okay these are direct question right there is uh, no confusion or anything else will be there so okay so we will so uh, think about the general characteristic of the virus okay when they started to study about those things they come to know that virus have a different kind of the structures compared to the other organisms so what is that important thing these do not contain any protoplasm what is the meaning of protoplasm then what is the meaning of protoplasm protoplasm is living thing we are saying but there is no protoplasm is there okay uh yeah so when you consider a cell okay yes when you consider a cell like this there will be outer cell wall will be there okay and inside to that will be a plasma membrane will be there okay inside this cell wall what are the things present is called as protoplast okay protoplast that means what are there inside that particular cell wall or including the plasma membrane inside okay yes correct so what are the things or the fluid thing it is present there that's called as protoplasm okay plasm means a kind of fluid correct so it contain both cytoplasm nucleoplasm remember that okay yes correct nucleus means nucleoplasm a jelly like substance you can say all those things right so but the important thing happened is these virus do not contain any protoplasm then how is the structure is holding okay how it's happening it contain a protein coat okay it contain a protein coat outside okay that protein coat can be again differentiated into two types okay one will be outer covering okay outer covering and then there is also a capsid correct okay outside sometimes it will have a outer covering and after that there will be a capsid okay what about the composition how i am differentiating covering and capsid in this covering here uh, if i go for in detail okay just to just for you guys 
the protein is of made up of the virus actually the protein is from the virus only but it also contain little bit of the fat molecule or i can say instead of fat i am using the term lipid is a better okay a lipid molecule and a carbohydrate molecule uh, simply i can say a polysaccharide molecule okay polysaccharide molecule or saccharide molecule okay those are actually from the host it borrowed i can't say it's borrowed okay it stole it from the host and it integrated those lipid and the polysaccharides with its protein and form the outer coverings okay and below that it contain the capsid the capsid means what it's a protein a pure protein structure okay pure protein structure which is actually uh, is like cell wall and plasma membrane and everything to that okay uh, there is no cell wall uh, there is no plasma membrane okay but there is only a structure a protein structure that's what we call as the capsid here you can see okay well, it's actually a structure of tmv tobacco mosaic virus whatever you are seeing here in the blue color right all are actually protein or i can simply say it as the capsid okay so what are these things then in the inside inside it contains genetic material what is the genetic material in here can anyone guess genetic material in here what is it is it protein or is it dna or is it rna or is carbohydrate yes yes genetic material i'm not talking about tma okay i'm talking about general characteristics right it may be a dna or it may be a rna okay Just remember only dna or rna have the capacity to form a genetic material not any proteins not any carbohydrate not any lipids or fats or any other molecules okay only dna and rna because it have certain kind of structures we will see that in later class okay yeah so either dna or rna may be a genetic material okay correct correct right nirmala and ranjan right but remember another one thing none of the virus contain both dna and rna okay none of the genetic uh, sorry none of the virus contain both dna and rna okay correct no virus have the both i am going to the next slide one okay common ah uh, i went to common disease sorry i lost one slide here i am taking one slide okay no problem there ha huh, yeah i am explaining explaining genetic material is either dna either i am mentioning either dna or what it will be it will be rna what is the meaning of dna deoxyribonucleic acid and rna means ribonucleic acid okay it's a complex structure complex molecular structure contain one sugar and one phosphate group and also the one nitrogenous base that nitrogen base is again may be classified but we will see all those in the ninth chapter okay there is no need to take tension about the structure all those things in here okay i uh, will see that right so here dna or rna may be present okay so this dna may be ds or ss what is ds or what is ss ds means you guys already know ds means double stranded what is the meaning of double stranded double stranded means like this okay and single stranded means a single but the issue is this single stranded dna is not present in the nature okay because the, uh, what is the meaning of stranded stranded meaning what stranded meaning a line okay uh, or you can say a strand you will see a strand right that means a simple a line of wire okay exactly like this i will i will write the diagram little bit more properly okay like this here it is one strand yes means thread correct okay and this will be the another strand okay second strand so this is the double strand but a single strand dna is not present why it is not present because whenever a double stranded dna is there it will join the two strands and it will form a double strand okay that's why it's like very hard to find in nature double a single stranded dna okay ha huh. so i then i'm go for the rna in rna it may be ds 
uh, I have to write in a small letters only. Okay, don't write capital D and capital S. We have to write it in small letters only. D S and S S. It is exactly same like how you write the dilute uh, H C L or dilute H H two S O four. We will start with the small d only, right? Exactly same kind. Okay, so double stranded. uh or single stranded rna both may be present okay single stranded uh, double stranded like this or it may be single stranded like this okay both will be present in this single stranded what happens it also have the affinity to join but the whole things will not join only sometimes it will act like this okay some so only somewhere it will be like form the double strand somewhere it will be single strand this is called loop okay this will be called as the loop but uh, we will see that later no issue in that so remember only one thing dna or rna may be present but uh, both will not be present in any virus okay yes so how we made the classification or on the basis of what we made the classification classification become little difficult okay so because there is no particular morphological character there is no very few other characters also so we made the classification based on the genetic material okay we classify the organisms first based on the genetic material okay genetic material like dna virus and rna virus okay dna virus dna virus and we made it as the rna virus okay uh these rna viruses we generally if i speak generally dna viruses are mostly related to the animals okay so they will never cause any disease to the plants but rna viruses are mostly restricted to the plants but these are also cause diseases to the animals okay example is yes, all of you asking right uh so you are already guys asking so corona right corona is a single stranded rna virus okay corona is a single stranded rna virus ss rna virus uh, probably this answer for you also they just right yes so retroviruses rhinoviruses those are again other classifications okay we will leave it just uh, classifications are not included in your syllabus so there is no need to take tension about it but you have to remember there are dna and rna viruses are there dna viruses mostly restricted to animals and rna viruses mostly restricted to plants but still some of them also cause disease on the animals yes correct uh, so pritam and sir what stable in the dna no then corona is so strong no 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 uh, stable genetic material yes i will i will answer the question one by one okay no issue some doubts are here some of them are asking what is sars and what is mers are you guys already know about it right sars and mers so what is sars yes 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 correct severe acute a respiratory syndrome okay respiratory syndrome and what is mers then what is mers then mers means middle east respiratory syndrome so these are the different names okay so these are the different diseases same as like corona okay which are uh, came in the uh, 2010 1 2003 1 like that okay so what is the meaning of this this also kind of the corona virus it causes a sars that means it causes the severe severe means very high case acute that means acute means what immediately okay a respiratory syndrome it causes the uh, disease in the respiratory tract okay what is middle east respiratory syndrome this is also exactly or similar to the uh, sars but this is first started in the middle east region okay it started in the middle east region that means you know about those gulf countries all those things right so that will be middle east respiratory syndrome these are the names we gave okay first thing okay second uh they are related yes all of them are related because they all comes under the common family of corona virus corona uh, virus families okay that's why yes and some of them asking sir dna is more stable rna is less stable then why viruses also present in uh, rna only okay 
remember those uh, viruses are changed to the rna to dna those are present as the dna only okay this, this uh, question is this question can be answered in very simple way like yes we know that the humans are came from the monkeys but why monkeys are still there so there's the always a question for us right because when the monkeys evolving a group of monkeys are evolved into humans but other uh, group of monkeys other groups are left behind or remain same okay exactly same kind so single stranded nature double stranded nature rna or dna are origin started to originate from the common point but they later what happened they bifurcated or redistributed then some of them become dna and some of them remain as rna some of them developed the double stranded rna nature but still some of them remain as the single stranded nature okay uh, corona do not affect the plants okay and remember animal virus do not affect plants plant virus do not affect animals these are host specific that's what we are discussed now okay what is the meaning of host specific that means these are in if a, a particular virus is affecting that particular plant or animal that particular virus have the capability to affect that particular virus sorry that particular animals or plants only okay if i take a corona virus and if i put that to a particular plant it won't cause any disease okay if i take the same particular corona virus and I, if i try to put that to a, a fish it won't affect it so what is the reason for that okay uh, yeah what is the what is the reason for that particular then because uh, it's like a home okay think it's your home and you are inside host is like a home right i i will tell you i will come to that page just one minute okay and you are inside that and what happens your brother or sister uh, sister come and knock on the door then you will open the door or not you will open the door right because you know that person right but after some time some unknown person you never know that person he come and knock on the door then what you will do you will open the door or not yes you won't try it you never open the door for the unknown people see because you don't know them and you don't know they are harmful or not right they may be harmful they may kill you right all those things are there but sometimes take another one characteristics it's night or some uh, it's night there is no light someone knocking on your door and you know that it's definitely your brother's voice it's definitely your brother's voice only okay you are 100% sure about it then what you will do there is no light you can't see but you are hearing your brother's voice then you will open the door right you think that your brother it is there but it may be some uh, thief or it may be some gunda or someone he may be uh uh his voice may be like your brother but he is not your brother then what he will do he will rob your home or he may kill you right he may rob right so exactly same condition this particular virus is there right this particular virus have some markers or receptors on their body okay some receptors on their body okay what this receptors is to your body or your cell is there think it's your cell okay human cell and it's yeah, it's the corona virus think about it okay it's a corona virus this corona virus come and attach to a door where actually some of your body particles have to come and attach okay it also have the similar kind of the what you can see Hi Lankesh, you raised your hand. Did you ask any question? If you have any question, just put in the chat box. I will see. Okay. Yes, it will have this similar kind of the structures. So our body, what it will think? Our body thinks that okay, this is one among us. This is not different. Then what it will do? It will let this virus inside the body. Okay, it will let. Okay. There is some other virus. Think about the TMV virus. Okay. Uh, tobacco mosaic virus okay tobacco mosaic virus you also ate that tobacco mosaic virus leaf only these also knock on your door knock on the human cell okay try to knock but what happens it do not have any that particular structure 
then our human self come to know that okay this is not related to art okay this is not related to that this is uh, i never know this person that will not let never let this particular into our body so what happens this tm or tobacco mosaic virus can't affect you or can't affect any humans or any animals because it do not have the mechanism okay it do not have a mechanism okay you understand that knocking procedure you understood right why it won't affect other organisms why it only affect that particular organism that is because of dust okay so someone is asking sir it can jump from one animals to an animals uh, sometimes how it happens then think about it is a virus okay it have a surface structures like this okay surface structure like this okay yeah i will i will tell you what, what what happens in there okay i will tell you what happens so what happens because of the different uh, uh, what this will affect think that it will affect the a bat okay this can affect only bat so because of some external nature the dna of that particular or rna of that particular is changed okay and you know that dna stable it won't go that much of change very easily but rna is highly unstable it can go for changes okay if there is one uv rays it will change okay if there is one chemical it will change okay the changes happened then what happened the old will be left like this only old left like this only and which is causing the disease in the bat okay but new organism but new organism new virus came it will having surface structure only like this okay only like this this can't affect bat remember this can't affect bat because it will be completely different then it will be in the air it will it will uh, sitting on all the animals all the birds all the plants everywhere okay it's trying to knock all the uh, doors okay it's trying to knock all the doors but our bat okay our bat our body have the same kind of the adjustment okay then what it will do our body i will use the different color okay it this is human cell think it's human cell okay our body same kind of the receptors acceptance is there then this particular virus come and attach here and it will affect our body okay so remember that virus never thought that i have to infect the um, human that's why i have to go for the changes i have i will affect the humans that never happens it do not have the thinking skill but what happens mutation is happening randomly okay yes sanjana i will explain that also okay i saw that okay okay uh yes so it it randomly changes is happening okay changes is happening randomly but the random change is cause that particular virus to affect that any one of the animals or the plants okay so that is what made us to prone to the diseases okay so when there is mutation is happening on the high on that particular virus it affect the different kinds of the animals also okay how it is born we exactly don't know okay how virus are started we don't know okay we are the still a mystery okay so next thing i want to add these do not contain any metabolism okay do not no metabolic system is there no metabolism that's why these things all virus viruses all of them are obligatory parasites okay these are obligatory parasites we can't say like that chandan which is stronger or um, uh, weaker okay so you can say based on the the symptoms it may cause or the death rate it may cause but in between the organism you can't compare like that okay these are not predators uh how can you compare e coli and uh, streptococcus which is stronger if you think streptococcus is stronger based on its uh, disease causing ability then you are related to that one only okay like that yes so we don't know that and how they will die and uh it may be by the external factors like uv rays or high temperature or acid or all those conditions okay a different chemical all those can kill the virus okay so remember this these do not have any metabolism these are obligatory parasites what is its important 
whatever antibiotic you are taking for kill that particular bacteria or kill that particular fungi in your body those medicines will act on the metabolic system okay it's exactly like um, how can i tell so how can i kill a particular bird or animal if i cut the digestive system then what happens if we one though it's eating okay or uh, simply think that uh, one particular animal can't open its mouth then what happens it can't eat anything because it can't eat anything it do not get any energy so it will die okay exactly same condition whatever you are eating antibiotics they will go and stop the bacterial metabolic system or fungi metabolic system so it will die but in virus there is no metabolic system then what it will do think that some uh, animal is there uh, it do not eat anything okay it never eat anything then how you can kill them right if you tape it tape its mouth close its mouth but it won't die because it's never eaten right exactly same condition because it is have no metabolism because these are obligatory parasites it's hard to kill all the antibiotics do not work that's why we don't have the that particular mechanism to kill this or particular medicines to kill this but our body is stronger guys our body is stronger what our body will do when our body sends those virus are in our body these will uh, start invading or start the uh, what you can say it will release its army of the wbc cells white blood cells those will go correct soldier kind of cells those will call war on those virus uh, particles and they will kill it okay uh, but if the virus is multiplying in a higher level then it will problematic for our body also or that particular person is having already having certain disease or anything then also it's problematic for that uh, our body also okay so those are the major things uh, causing the problem for finding the medicines for corona or why it is causing the disease all those things okay and then why it is affecting the organisms why it is affecting the organisms for reproduction okay it's never thought of living a high life or living a super fantabulous life okay all organism have only one goal that is the reproduction remember okay this happen everywhere what is the need of the reproduction then reproduction will transfer the genetic material of that particular organism to the line okay why animals are struggling why animals are living why plants are living why plants are living or growing to produce the flowers to produce the seeds right that's reproduction why animals are growing or becoming stronger to reproduce right so everything lying beside the reproduction answer only here is also virus never infect you to cause disease virus never infect you to uh, live a fantabulous life okay or virus never affect you to make you do things or make you cry or make you uh, suffer okay it never do that it never thinks about it the only issue it have to do it have to do the reproduction where it can do the reproduction it can happen within the host body that's why it's affecting you okay never scold virus okay never never scold virus uh, it don't know why it's doing okay it's like um, kind kind organism it is okay so it don't know what it is doing so it's doing it yes to continue the life cycle or oh, everyone every organism do the same thing the ultimate thing is to do this life cycle or continue the life cycle okay so then how it's getting the food you are asking the food it is getting from the that particular host only ready made food okay ready made food glucose will be there it will take a glucose uh, like that virus never take glucose okay i simply exampling uh, i am simply giving example virus will take the some other polysaccharide and protein okay uh Huh. virus is kind like you <laughs> what is the life span of virus uh, that's a difficult question okay difficult questions to answer but it's a good question to answer these are same like the bacteria okay so it's always dependent upon that particular external nature if what one virus is there if it affect some particular host plant it will reproduce okay it will never die it will never die it's like uh, immortals okay but if you add some chemical or any external substances then only these will die okay without any external 
influence they won't die exactly like bacteria Bag- bacteria if you keep on uh, kept it on somewhere it's keep on dividing 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 it never dies but you put some uv rays x rays uh, sorry not x rays okay uv rays or some fire or temperature then it will die right exactly same condition without any external influence this virus won't die okay ha huh. all those single celled organism are like that only right all single celled organism like that only they don't have any death that's what we discussed in the first uh, thing right yes life span of virus that only right i told you life span is that only okay uh which is more stronger excess and is there is uh, we can't say like stronger guys okay you can't say stronger but the mutation rate if you take a mutation rate that means how uh, how much short time it will convert to one form to another form then you can say single strand single strand change from one form to another form quickly but ds ds take little more time okay ha huh. after all these things we will come to the same uh, question the virus is living or non living okay virus is neither living nor non living okay when it is present in the host then only living outside it's non living okay how food will be utilized there is no food uh, food there is no meaning of food for the virus okay the only thing it have a genetic it have a protein coat it have to make a two protein coats it have a genetic material it have to make a two genetic material there is nothing else okay what is ds and ss i explained sanjana ds means double stranded having two strands single ss means single stranded okay what causes mutation uh, okay, okay we are double stranded or single stranded all the higher organisms are double stranded okay all the higher organisms okay uh so yes another thing we we are, we are getting too many questions okay yes how we reproduce there are two different kinds are there simply think that i will i will explain it okay uh, that's what i am going to say in the next okay so there is a bacteria is there think that it's a bacteria or any cell is there okay it have a genetic material so here our virus is there and it also have a genetic material what it will do it will hijack this okay this will hijack this cell machinery this particular cell machinery and use that particular substances all the substances which is present here to create itself okay to create itself okay yes ah yeah, yeah, yeah. there is no protection nothing like that mohan these are very simple things guys very 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 simple things okay and remember very few of them also may have may have enzymes okay may have certain enzymes which are help in this process what is this process this hijacking mechanism this replicating their dna or rna utilizing the host dna or rna all those things okay you know the process in the transduction right we already learned about transduction there's no need to think about it again right yeah so common diseases what are the common diseases it will be caused by this particular viruses then so common diseases of virus in the animals you can go for yes you are again and again going there only yes you can think about that covid 19 okay uh, that's what i explained the stages yeah uh, aids okay i will explain it once again after the class okay and what may be any any other things you are common cold right common cold yes influenza influenza all those things will be caused by the yes sars mers yes h1n1 h1n1 yes someone is saying ebola okay ha all those things. polio right so many so many diseases are there animals you are concentrating about the humans only but still okay okay hachranth i will tell you okay uh, yeah when you come to the yes there are a lot up there we, we can uh, that will be we'll study all those things again in the 12th class okay here we will only study there are some there and it will be like this okay yes mumps all those things in plants it causes the mosaic virus like tobacco mosaic and spindle okay there are some spindle diseases also cause spindle means all this will form a spindle like of the structure okay that also it will cause no 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 pritam remember wherever you mentioned rust 
smut you have to go for the fungi only okay rust is fungi yes rust is fungi okay yes it may cause dwarfing okay all those but issue is here we don't have that particular names very few of them have the particular names okay no no jivan that's not caused by the virus okay i'm only discussing about virus here so in plants uh there are some common symptoms will be there and that symptoms will be used to identify the sub viral or not okay correct mohan banana bunch it of disease okay so here you can see the first one will be the rolling and curling okay rolling and curling of the leaves so, so what happens here the leaves will curl down curl down or roll down okay and what about here then okay so there may be yellowing of the leaf okay leaf will turn yellow or it may vein clearing what is the meaning of vein clearing vein clearing means what here you can see only the veins are converted into yellow right all the other structures are uh, green in color but these yellow these are only turned into a yellow color structure here is also some a uh, pinkish color is there right the pinkish color is caused by the deficiency of minerals or sometime by the virus also this is called um, one minute yes anthocyanin okay this is the pigment called anthocyanin this anthocyanin deposition in the leaves also character of the virus or also character of the a uh, mineral uh, what you can say deficiency okay we will see that in the plant physiology okay destroying of the veins or vein clearing means all the veins are turned into a yellow color okay yes and it may also show a uh, one minute it may also show a particular stunted growth okay stunted kind of the growth here you can see right a stunted tobacco here all the tobaccos are normal but here it will be smaller okay Anirudha, did you forgot? I am not telling you. Okay, you have to go and see once again. I am not telling which is causing the trust. Yes, yes. These are the major symptoms of the viral diseases. Okay, we will see one question. One question is there. Okay, ah, which statement is wrong for the viruses? Okay, all of them. Yes, all of them have the helical symmetry. They have ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins. antibiotic have no effect on them all are parasites okay i'm launching the poll now okay i'm relaunching the poll now okay remember the question is asking which statement is wrong for virus wrong you have to think about the statement which is wrong okay all of them have helical symmetry they have the ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins antibiotic have no effect on them and all are parasites what do you guys think yes poll is launched you still have the on time you can answer in the poll hmm we'll see yes last 15 seconds yes correct so many guys so many people are giving different kinds of answers i am ending the poll now okay and i'm sharing the results ha correct anirudha 38% option a 34% b 20% c and 7% d i am stop sharing the result okay ha okay so you can think about it here okay wrong they are asking all are parasites is correct statement right it's the correct statement not wrong statement antibiotic have no effect on them it's a correct statement this is not wrong statement right what is the meaning of helical symmetry helic means like this right they are saying all the viruses are like this only it will be in helical manner only like uh, tobacco mosaic virus but that is not correct right we, we saw the corona virus it is circular in structure right like that they have the ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins and all of them are helical symmetry okay here we will stuck ability to synthesize nucleic acid and protein we told there is no metabolism but i told they will create their protein coat and they will create the genetic material yes they have the ability to synthesize nucleic acid and proteins but using host 
okay using host as the source so, so this is also correct then which statement is wrong all of them have helical symmetry is wrong okay very few of them like tmv or mosaic virus have helical symmetry others will have different kind of the other than that symmetry okay so the correct answer is option 1 or option a okay so another question ki the question is simple for the first time viruses were identified from okay papaya plant tobacco mango plant coconut okay i'm launching the poll now one minute you can answer in the poll i'm relaunching the poll now yes remember guys when we are uh, doing what's the unit of unit of protein coat means what uh, mohan i didn't understand unit of protein coat means yeah sometimes when we are doing the class what happens like when so many people like uh, 170 180 students are there when you are uh, texting something some chat may miss okay so if that happens uh, then after the class just mention me for one more minute i will tell you okay ah correct 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 even youtube also so many people are giving correct answers atira aman laishram nirmala ramesh okay yes how many seconds left last 5 seconds no protein coats in viruses are different in different viruses okay these are not similar i am ending the poll now and i am showing the results only 4% chosen option a 93% b and uh, 2% c and only one chosen option d okay i am closing the poll now yes you guys are absolutely correct okay the correct answer is tobacco we found it from the tmv right tobacco mosaic virus so from there we actually identify the viruses okay so there are some other questions asking apart from this when is the protein coats are same or not protein coat will be different and what are the component of that capsid is have the component is called as capsomers okay capsomers so that's the one thing what is polyhedral symmetry polyhedral symmetry you guys know about it in the chemistry right polyhedral what is the meaning of that i can't write it here um, like this okay so ha huh, it will be like completely this kind of structure with a multiple faces it's a 3d structure right correct polyhedral so you just check about that uh, structures okay yeah uh yep next one will be the viroids okay what are viroids then so what is the meaning of viroid and uh, how it is different from the virus is uh, single stranded dna is also high stable single stranded dna is not normally present uh, pavan uh, single stranded dna is very rare it's not present in uh, uh, nature regularly okay father of uh, virus i am not sure who is the who we call the father of virus okay who we uh, gave the name virus we know that but few, i don't know who actually gave the name or oh, sorry who is called as father okay yes correct so we will see that pavan uh, you also check on that i will also check on that we will update in the next class okay correct so viroids are discovered by the diner what happens here viroids or viroids lack protein coat okay what is the meaning of lack protein coat until then we only told that the virus is simple virus is simple that means one minute yes protein coat virus is simple having outer protein coat and inner genetic material but here there is no genetic material are present okay sorry there is no protein coat is present then what is the genetic material here here the genetic material is a free rna what is the meaning of free rna we can simply mention it as a rna right why we mention it as the free rna only then because uh, rna or J dna will normally yes normally coated with some proteins okay but there is no protein is present these are freely floating okay without any binded any protein also that's why we called it as the a free rna okay a free rna so these are tinier than the virus okay these are tinier than the viruses and which is 
given by the diner okay tivo diner i miss the tivo some may ask okay remember all these names are important okay because it's given in the book only right so because they lack that particular uh, protein coat we call it them viroids and major disease it will cause is potato spindle tuber disease uh, here you can see this is the normal one okay this is the normal potato and these are the uh, potato which is affected okay which is affected by the potato spindle tuber virus okay spindle tuber means it causes the that uh, that particular potato become spindle shaped okay they have no protein coat all no no protein coat at all okay this will be spindle shaped so there is no major harm right we can uh, there is no need to think about it right no these kind of potatoes will lose its commercial price okay think about it if if that particular potato is like this this much long then how hard it is to uh, pluck from that particular ground okay also if it is like this okay then how hard it is to transport in and making all your good things right so economically the price will be decreases apart from that there is no such a major changes okay yes ha huh, it majorly causes the change in that particular tuber shape only okay uh, the plant shapes will be not that particular okay so major disease are this only and remember this only cause diseases in plants only in plants not in animals okay yes only in plants not in animals okay and when you compare to that you know that this will have only free rna because of presence of only rna this will have low molecular weight what is the meaning of low molecular weight that means we it have very less weight because only rna is present nothing else right that's why uh it's harm in no you don't there is no harm when eating it i told you right the plant virus only cause diseases in plants and animal virus only cause diseases in animals so there is no tension you can eat this potato without any tension okay yes can we treat it with any diseases no it may be plant or it may be animals the viral disease are so harmful right and you can't cure it from any disease if you know that what it will do uh, tobacco plantation is there and you come to know that one plant is affected from that particular virus so then what it will do, what we will do we will pluck that particular plant and we will burn it down or normally we will burn it okay we will not even uh, what you can say uh, uh, leave it like that only okay we will burn that plant then only that particular virus will be dead okay there is no particular medicine for the viral diseases okay very rare in the case of animals plants nobody thought about it nobody tried about it okay we don't bury it correct ananya right <laughs> you 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 got me right we don't bury it because even though you are buried it uh, those will be still active those viruses will be still active when you are mulching or when you are transferring that particular soil it may again cause and i i don't know you guys are know or what who are working in the uh, this tobacco plantations normally own tichu tobacco leaves uh, from the outside what they bought from the outside because when they chew it and if they split it spit it on that particular plants it may also cause the disease okay now that's not happening because what we are growing now uh, those plants have the resistance to those virus okay we have the tobacco mosaic virus resistance varieties of the uh, what you can say uh plants so, so those resistance varieties can't uh, can't affected by the tmv okay that's why most of you people even though you have the tobacco plantation you don't know about all those things okay and there is no particular economic values it will decrease the economic uh, value of that particular crops okay uh why death caused by corona buried yes there also the problems are there but uh, it's always like uh, related to that particular things on the right particular persons on okay the best thing for any animals or plants to stop the spreading is uh, fire okay high temperature that's the best thing okay uh, what are virions you are asking yes correct what are virions virions are a complete uh, virus outside the host okay 
when the virus is completely covered with the outer sheath and capsid everything is there and it is present outside the host body then we call it as the virion or virion okay now uh, we will see that stages i send the later next slides okay next one question came the question is like infectious rna particles without proteins okay they are asking about other options have high molecular weight very discovered by alper known to cause disease in plants only more than one option is correct i am launching the poll now okay ha ah, correct venkat right i am launching the poll now ha ah, no no yes some of you are correct in what happens if you eat them nothing will happen anand if you eat this particular potato or uh, any virus uh, ridden that particular plant nothing will happens to you okay mm, not majorly but these are normally deficient in nutrition because uh, the hindrance which is caused by the virus make them to produce less uh, what you can say the materials in their body okay yes uh lashram and ranjana think once again do you really think that is the correct answer vaccine for corona now uh, it it's possible i'm not saying it's not possible but it takes more than what you are expecting for polio virus all the viruses it never completed within 1 and 3 years it takes more than 5 10 years to uh, make a single vaccine okay you can't expect ex uh, uh what you can expect this thing within happen in one year okay i'm ending the poll now and i'm sharing the results 7% chosen option a 7% b 70% c and 16% option d okay uh, i'm stop sharing the result yes you guys are one level uh, correct okay infectious rna particles without proteins how high molecular weight no very discovered by alper no okay then more than one option is correct no the correct option is known to cause this is in plants only okay correct right so laishram ranjan ramesh aman uh, some here or also correct okay mm yes there is there is nothing there is nothing present there are pre rna tejasvini we already discussed it okay I don't know. I also don't know. Actually, we will see who is Alpha later. Okay, later will be the bacteriophages, and what we left again is the after the bacteriophages will be we left with the uh, prions. Okay, we will study bacteriophages and prion in detail tomorrow, and we will also uh, discuss some of the other questions also in the tomorrow class in detail way. Okay. so i launched the nps teacher nps now it's time for your doubts okay what are the doubts you have you may ask now we will take our time and we will discuss about all those things okay we will take our time and we will discuss yes sir is virus have capsid no virus do not have any capsid that's why we call it as a free rna molecule okay so any any doubts guys 157 why any doubt any doubts if you have any doubts you can ask or something i i didn't saw that time you can ask that also so virus attack only animals and plants no chetana we are coming to bacteriophage right there we will see okay virus affect all the organisms bacteria fungi cyanobacteria all those things okay we will see that in the next class when bacteriophage so can you store virus yes you can store virus you can make a crystal and you can store it okay who is alper who is alper we will see okay mm, we will see in next class because it's in the next slides parasites or pathogens correct correct i will explain single are virus single celled always there is no meaning of cell right these are not at all cell then how can you say it's single celled or not uh yes virus remove its protein coat to yes Protein it will remove its protein coat sometimes. Okay, uh, most of the viruses to uh, enter into the body because the only thing needed inside that host cell is the genetic material of that particular virus. There is no need of the outer protein coat. That's why it will remove it. Okay, do we create vaccine for bacterial diseases? There are these. Yes, there are a lot of there. Okay, we will see that in the twelfth class. What are the 
how, what are the types of vaccine, how we create it, all those things we will learn in there. Okay. Uh, they are non-cellular, correct? Because they are non-cellular, we can't say these are cell or not cell. And both RNA, huh. when you compare DNA and RNA for one, which is stable, you are asking, always DNA is stable, RNA is still stable, okay? But when you give me in double standard and single standard, which is stable, always double standard is stable and single standard is less stable, okay? Why like that? We will see it in later class. But remember like this, always single standard is less stable and RNA is less stable, okay? Ah, Srijana, one minute, <laughs> give me one second, okay? Our virus, I'm taking from the order. Our virus are smallest living organisms. Uh, why that question become um, uh, hard to answer is because we never consider virus as truly living, right? We can never consider truly living. Uh, when you consider a smallest cell, you have to answer mycoplasma. You remember, right? When you consider a smallest cell, you have to give answer like mycoplasma. So you can't say uh, virus because these are not truly living, right? Yes, Monisha, we will learn about prions in the next class. The slides are in the next. Tell about virus uh, disturbed. If it's a virus to prions, the children of virus. Srabi. No, we can't. Links. Yeah, links is already up updated in your uh, groups. So just check. Links are already updated. All YouTube links are updated. Double standard RNA is less stable than single standard DNA. Single standard DNA is not present in the nature. Okay, so those will not survive. What about PPLO? PPLO, mycoplasma, all are same, right? Yes. So, uh, uh, huh. there are some questions some of you are asking. What is the difference between pathogens and the parasites? Okay. In double standard, single standard cause more harm. Uh, both can come more harm, but single standard can change easily. Single standard virus can change readily. Okay. Uh, but uh, double standard takes little time to change. Okay. Pathogens uh, which are on based on uh, what we can say based on host. Okay. But parasite is also based on host. Okay. Pathogens cause diseases. Okay. Parasites is also cause the diseases. Okay. Huh. Uh, yes. But there are one different thing about the parasites. Okay. How, how it will become parasite? Parasite will, okay, completely dependent upon that particular plant. It causes the disease. Sometimes these are invisible or you can see there are no symptoms. Okay. There are no symptoms will be there. Okay. It is hijacking the hijacking the systems and utilizing all those things, but still there are no symptoms will be there. Plant will do not aware about that. Okay. Do not aware about it sometimes. Do all for a, No, that's what I'm saying, right? So, uh, that's not possible. Mm. I'll tell you, uh, Jainand, okay, Nanda. No, no, not all parasites create diseases. That's what I'm saying. These will invisible, uh, sorry, invisible inside the plant body or animal body, okay? If I take like a rust, rust is being caused by a particular kind of the pathogen. Rust is caused by a pathogen of fungi, okay? When I come to a parasite, I will talk about mistletoe or I can talk about any parasitic uh, like sandalwood. Okay. Sandalwood, we never call it as a pathogen. Remember, because sandalwood affect the plant, it will extract the nutrition from the plant, but it never causes the disease. It never causes the disease. Okay. But pathogen always causes the disease. Okay. So that is the major difference. Okay. It's the major difference. Uh, I, I will check on that and I will update for the third and fourth batch also. Okay, probably in third and fourth batch it's not there. Yes. Uh, can we, so that's the major difference. Is there it is causing any disease or not? That's the major difference. Okay. Mm. Can we damage DNA of virus? Yes, you can do that. Okay, you can readily do that. Virus is like this. 
genetic material is like this okay if you place a uv rays on that if you make a uh, uh, treat that with a uv rays then these dna is completely damaged okay this virus will die virus will die because of the high damage in the dna okay so yeah that's what we are saying right when corona is present outside environment it live very less time that's why we are telling you to maintain the distance social distance because uh, when uv rays is there it, there is a high chance or high temperature it will die so answers are there okay but uh, when a moisture is there or all this con uh, condition is there then it will become difficult okay uh, so what is nucleoprotein the proteins which are associated with the nucleus okay or the dna those are called nucleoproteins like histones non histones all those things genetic material in corona is already covid 19 is single stranded rna okay uh and uh, sir if my finger is affected by virus and uh, thought of cutting my hand is it good idea to get rid of virus no it's not a good idea to just <laughs> why it is because uh virus can be trans virus normally affect not only a single cell it directly con uh, contact with your blood streams okay or lymphatic system so it will be spread through it your body even though you cut your fingers uh probably it may already entered your body some other means okay yes uv rays affect our cells also that's why when it's high temperature high sunlight is there when you go outside and come you will have uh, this uh, your outer skin will be dead that's why it can some black all those things rashes will come okay when will schools reopen i i don't know okay is nuclear protein is genetic material or infectious yes so okay genetic protein with the nuclear nuclear of proteins are infectious we will talk about okay uh when will schools reopen i don't know shrijana i i don't know is there any good side of the pathogens a good side of the pathogens actually some of the pathogens are converted into some good sides okay or uh, but those are called with some other names we no long call it as a pathogen okay if you are a, a good person Uh, sorry if you are a bad person then you convert into a good person we will call you as a good person only right same condition we change its name as symbols some other things okay how sanitizer kills the virus correct how sanitizer kills it uh, sanitizer contain uh, more than 60% of the alcohol okay what it will do this particular we have to use more than 60 or 70% of alcohol only we are mentioning it okay this particular alcohol go and strangle that protein coats okay strangle that protein coats because strangling of the protein coat that particular virus will die we can also kill that particular virus using what using the soap or the hand wash then what it will do those particles so particles will join the outer protein coat and will rip apart that protein uh, uh, sorry rip apart that particular virus from that also virus will die okay mm. so what is the time virus takes it takes some time it removes lipid layer correct right we can be far from virus by taking wine ah mohan you can't you know that the protein will degenerate at the temperature of how much more than 60 degree celsius if you make your body 60 degree celsius with virus your all body proteins also oh, <laughs> will start to strangle and all those things and you also die okay no drinking alcohol never kill virus okay yes yes is it prat or lipids are same ah yeah, yeah yeah almost you can use the uh, same words for now we will see in the biomolecule like uh, how we will use our term you can use the term lipid no issue uh, so what's the time taken by the virus to reproduce there are different ah thank you pushpa yes there are two systems are there sometimes it will stagnate within that particular host cell sometime it will start to multiply as soon as it enter the uh, body okay so there are not particular timings will be there it will take the uh, multiplication of that particular virus dna take few minutes okay few minutes only sanitizer breaks lipid layer of virus it's not break sanitizer contain alcohol which make it like a high rigid kind of thing okay it make a rigidity of that protein uh, protein things 
yes uh, based on the the structure okay glycogen molecule is there and the fat is there and lipids will be little bit little bit difference are there when we come to the biomolecule we will uh, learn about the differences monisha okay the structure of the when we go for the structure of uh, uh, lipids then we'll go for what is fat how the structure will be and how the glycogen and the structure will be okay where is a fluid or not no these are fluid and not a fluid these are just a simple molecules only about protoplasm but i can't understand okay simple i will tell okay this is the cell wall think is the cell wall okay all the things which is inside the cell wall all inside all inside is called as protoplast simple definition of protoplast is a uh, cell without cell wall is called protoplast okay then i will write the plasma membrane okay the things which is present inside this there will be one nucleus will be there right so i will simply write here it will contain cytoplasm and here it will contain sorry pla cytoplasm and here it contain the nucleoplasm right but if you don't consider all the differentiation if you consider a single thing with all those thing that is called as protoplasm protoplasm contain both nucleoplasm and the cytoplasm okay so what is cytoplasm then cytoplasm we have to explain like from where cell membrane okay or plasma membrane to the where to nuclear membrane okay to nuclear membrane a fluid like substance is present from here to here a fluid like substance is present that is cytoplasm okay with the, all the organelle all the organelles mitochondria all those things if there is no organelle then you call it as the cytosol okay we will learn all these things later but for the brief i am telling you okay Yes, cytoplasm means with organelles, but without organelles, it will be cytosol. Okay, so nucleoplasm means what? So all the things which is present within the nuclear membrane. Okay, so with including cytoplasm and nucleoplasm, we call it as the protoplasm. Okay, what is M1 and M2 in virus cell components? Okay. uh probably you are asking about a particular virus only because when we come to the different cell receptor we will name it as different different way so if you mention a particular virus then we can go for the meaning of that particular simply think like some protein coding i think so those kind of words we will use it very often okay guys then uh, we will end the session i think um, most of the doubts are cleared right Okay. Ah, okay.